Well, good morning and welcome to day 11 of 21 days of prayer and fasting. I hope the first 10 days have gone well for you. I know for me, the Lord has really been speaking to me and has been teaching me some things and preparing my heart for the next days that are in front of us. And just real excited about what God's doing in my life, what God has been doing in your life as you've been walking through the 21 days of prayer and fasting as well. Well, this morning I'm coming to you from the sanctuary of the church. And as you can see, the carpet is about three quarters of the way down. Um, so they've gotten a lot of that done today. They've started putting back the video equipment up in the in, in on the ceiling. And so a lot of things happen. A lot of things are beginning to really fall into place. And I can't wait for you to be able to see it. Well, this morning for day 11 of our 21 days of prayer and fasting, we're praying for revival. And if there's ever been a time that we have needed revival in modern day history, it's today, isn't it? You know, we're praying for the hearts of men, women, and students to return to God. And we're also praying for the hearts of men, women, and students that do not know the Lord to turn to God and in, enter into a personal relationship with him, to call out to him, to repent of their sins and turn to him and cry out to him to be the savior and Lord of their lives. Here's what we know as believers. Revival is not for the lost. It is for the saved. It is for us. When you and I get revived and get our lives right with God, the world around us oftentimes get their lives right with God as well. You know, I'm reminded of the Great Welch Revival. When that revival came, the bars were shut down. The judicial system was shut down because they did not have any cases to try. The police officers were basically out of a job. That all happened because people got their lives right with God and people were getting saved. If there has ever been a time in our history that we have needed to call upon the Lord and turn from our sins and seek the Lord, it is today, isn't it? You know, the day King Solomon was dedicated the temple to the Lord, the Lord appeared to him um, soon after and, and shared with him some very conditional words. We're all familiar with 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14 especially, but I want to read to you a few verses before that. In verse 11, beginning there, reading through verse 15, we read these words. Thus Solomon finished the house of the Lord and the king's house. All that Solomon had planned to do in the house of the Lord and in his own house, he successfully accomplished. Then the Lord appeared to Solomon in the night and said to him, I have heard your prayer and have chosen this place for myself as a house of sacrifice. When I shut up the heavens, so that there is no rain, or command the locusts to devour the land, or send pestilence upon among my people. In verse 14, notice these conditional words. If my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and heal their land. Now my eyes will be opened and my ears attentive to the prayers that is made in this place. You and I need to become people of prayer, praying specifically for God to revive us, to reveal sin in us, to reveal to us what we need to confess before him so that we can get our lives right with him. In the book of Ezekiel, we read these words. In Ezekiel 33, 11, say to them, as I live, declares the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Turn back, turn back from your evil ways. For why will you die, O house of Israel? Let us turn back. And let us turn to the Lord. If we need to repent of our sins, let's repent of our sins. If the Lord is leading us to help someone else repent of their sins, then let's go to them to help them repent of their sins as well. 
Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we come before you now, Father, as we enter into day 11 of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. And specifically today, we're praying for revival. We're praying for personal revival, that you will revive us, that you will reveal any sin in us that we need to confess before you. And I know over the last 10 days, we've done a lot of that. And so, Father, if there's any sin left in us, Father, help us to um, call upon you so that you'll forgive us of that. Also, Father, Lord, we pray that you will be with those around us that do not have a relationship with you. We pray that you'll draw them unto salvation, Lord. Give us opportunities to share with them the good news of salvation, Lord, and help all of us experience revival across our land and around the world. Lord, we love you and we thank you. For us in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, let's pray for revival throughout this day and in the days and weeks before us. Have a blessed day.